I always get a question. Why is my pizza burning on top? It's very, very pale on the bottom. Well, invest in one of these things. Uni sells these as well. These are the infrared gun. You wanna put that in the stone here, the laser, and see what the temperature is. If the flame's going a little too high and the stone's really low, you're not gonna have a good time. I'm gonna show you what I do when I'm making a pizza. I'm gonna do one flop, unfortunately, and I'm gonna show you what I do when I'm making the perfect pizza here. You wanna dust your work surface with either nice flour or semolina. If I'm doing just my pizza peel, I just put a little light dusting of semolina on there. You want no sticky points. If there's any sticky points, add some flour or semolina to your dough. While you're doing this, it's always good to multitask. You wanna keep checking back on the oven and the flame. As you can see, that oak wood is ripping really, really nicely right now. Make sure you have the ball bearings. Is it sliding back and forth like that? Great, if it's sliding back and forth like that, you're ready to go. If not, grab a little semolina or flour. You can lift up, kind of dust it a little bit as well. And that'll make it so it won't stick. Let's go back to the oven, oven management. We're gonna see what the temperature is. right now is around 600 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna give actually a blooper one real quick. Kind of show you what not to do. Remember when you're making pizza, especially Neapolitan, less is more. If you're making a traditional Neapolitan pizza, you wanna make sure that stone is roughly 800 degrees Fahrenheit to 950 degrees Fahrenheit. Right now, even though the flame's going, it's only 600 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm gonna show you what not to do here. So we're gonna put that in there. Shut the door here, give it about 15 to 20 seconds. Then we're gonna come back in here. You can see how the flame is cooking. See how the bottom of the dough hasn't risen yet. If you're gonna scoop that from there now, it's gonna actually stick to the stone itself. The reason why you want the stone to be very, very hot is because that actually cooks the bottom real quickly for you. This pizza looks pretty done on the top. Let me show you here. The outside's looking pretty decent, but look at here. This is what you don't want. Right here, there's no color on there. The reason why there's no color on there is because the stone was really low temperature. Remember, it was 600 degrees Fahrenheit. You wanna aim for over 800 degrees minimum Fahrenheit up to 950 degrees Fahrenheit. And then see how the heat is escaping from the top? Right now, beautiful over 900 degrees Fahrenheit. If it's not sliding there, put a little bit of semolina on the bottom and we're gonna put it into the oven. I wouldn't be surprised if this pizza takes less than about 75 seconds. So this is looking good here guys. This one remember, cook traditional Neapolitan way, different leoparding on the sides. The main key feature is the top looks fairly the same as the other one, as you can tell the coloring on the bottom, it's gonna make it for a more extreme delicious bite. Remember, very floppy here, no coloring before. The reason why we had no coloring on the bottom before, guess what? The stone wasn't hot enough. Stone temperature is key.